Hi everyone, I wanted to put together a video demo uh, showing a, a different type of solution that I created, a uh, simple solution quite frankly that I whipped together pretty quick but I thought was pretty cool that I created for interfacing with DirecTV's new IP control API that they that recently got announced. And the, the reason this is different is because is what I did was develop this all client side JavaScript jQuery, uh, implementing jQuery libraries for the calls so that it's completely cross-platform. You don't have to have a server running inside your house that hosts PHP. You don't have to install an application that's unique to a specific platform. It's all client side, running in JavaScript and jQuery, so it can run on Apple, uh, Windows, Linux, whatever it might be. Um, and uh, that makes it real beneficial so that anyone can essentially pull it up and run it uh, and so on. This is very specific to my needs, but you'll see as, as I show it, it can be certainly customized if you see the benefit uh, to your needs as well. And what I mean by specific to my needs is you can see what I've done is created a, a list of icons that are my favorite channels so that I can pull it up quick on my iPad as a bookmarklet in my web browser, whatever it might be. Uh, my little, my five-year-old daughter can pull it up and she recognize the icons and, and click them and go right to her her particular channels and so on and so forth. So the way this works is I just get it right into it and demo it. And again, the important thing to, to point out is it's all client side uh, scripting. Uh, so you can just pull it up in your browser and, and, and click the buttons and, and execute it without issue, without having to worry about any sort of configuration on a server side and, and what have you. So again, real quick, um, another thing you'll see um, that's all dynamic is is the ability for the page to generate a drop down menu of your DVRs that you have available inside your in your house in your local area network. Um, and I'll show you some of the JavaScript here in a second, but just to see its functionality, uh, it's as simple as going ahead and clicking uh, the particular icon, you'll see a little message changing channel to, to that particular channel number. You come over to the TV and you can see now, for example, we're over at Nickelodeon. I come back to the uh, favorites page, go ahead and click the science channel, come on over. I'm now at the science channel. As you can see, if I put them both together at the same time, computer monitor versus the, uh, the TV screen, go ahead and click this third one, Food Network. Click it. You can see I'm immediately changed over to the Food Network. Um, and so on and so forth. Uh, local channels. I've even, even got them programmed in so they'll do OTA local channels. So here you can see 5-1 here in Chicago. Take you to that local channel. Um, in addition to setting up uh, your your rows of favorite channels for quick access and clicking, again ESPN, changing to 206, come on over to see we're over at ESPN, Monday Night Football. In addition to clicking quick access to your favorite channels, I also have a direct tune capability. So you can go ahead and click 9-1 for example if I want to locally tune to OTA uh, WGN, click change channel, changing to 9-1, come on over. And sometimes it's not perfect, as you can see there. I'll leave that on there, but I click it again, 9-1, it missed the dash 1. I have some error checking in to try to trap those types of misses and, um, and retry again. Not always perfect, but again, this is something that's pretty much in alpha and or beta mode at DirecTV. Um, so uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see from time to time it doesn't always work exactly as you planned, but pretty darn close. Try again. We'll go over to the Big Ten Network, 610. Over to the Big Ten Network we go. All right. So now, if we view some source, and bear with me, I'm, I'm holding this by my hand, so it might be a little bit jittery, but it's all client-side JavaScript based. Again, nothing to install, no servers to configure, no requirements to add PHP or whatever it might be. And you can see for each uh, each channel in a favorites, I've got a logo that I specified and a function that gets called called change chan. That's a common delimited list of the channel numbers, and that way I can split those numbers up and loop through them and, and enter them in with the key presses. Uh, so the end user, all it really matters to you is when you open up the source code, you'll see the variable called DVRs. And what this is is a common delimited list of IPs. Uh, and, and display names for what appears in the drop-down menu so you can select your particular DVR. So within that common delimited list, it's, you have a semicolon delimited list of pairs. So IP, semicolon, display name, comma. Next IP, semicolon, display name, comma. And you can have it in as many as you want, and many uh, combinations of IP, semicolon, display name, uh, separated by commas, so that when you populate that variable, DVRs, when this page gets built, your drop-down menu will be built accordingly um, with that display name and the IP that gets called. So that again, when you click your particular icon, um, 
will change to that channel and uh, immediately tune and, and you're off and running to the races. So that's it. I thought it was pretty cool. It's pretty fun to play with. I put this together real quick so you know it can certainly be optimized but uh, I'll put the code out there for anyone's interested and hopefully you guys uh, uh, find some benefit from it as well.